and welcome to week one of our uh, video review session with Poncho. Um, each week you are going to get a different review video. It's going to cover everything that we do with the puppies uh, during the week and sometimes it'll cover special topics like grooming or um, socializing, things like that. It just sort of depends on what the week looks like. Um, overall impressions, uh, Poncho is a super sweet, sweet pup, um, definitely more on the timid side. So I don't know if you've noticed, but and maybe different because of your comfort level or his comfort level with Heyo with you guys, but um, a lot of times if you reach out to grab Poncho, you'll get kind of this backwards sort of um, nervous energy where the puppy tries to move away from you, or if you startle the puppy, um, he'll tend to want to run away from you. Those are things that we really want to work on overcoming in the first couple weeks. So we do a game called, and it is, I want to point out, it's not totally unusual. Um, really confident puppies don't necessarily have that, but a lot of them have this, what we call oppositional reflex, where they just want to move away when something moves towards them. So all that means is we work a lot on what we call the gotcha game. Um, which teaches the puppy, it conditions the puppy to look forward to being caught. Um, so you are going to see today what the, the main video review that you're going to get is actually um, my assistant, Melissa, today worked with the puppies on the skills that I've been doing the past few days. And I'm going to do some um, voiceover coaching so you can really see what she's doing and I'll explain and be telling you how to practice on your own replicating those exercises. So let me know if you have any questions and uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you next week, bye. What you are going to see Melissa working on right now are what we call foundation games. The first okay. one is name yes. game. What that means is that we are conditioning your puppy to understand that when they hear their name, they need to stop what they're doing and find out what we need. It's a, like a stop, look, and listen cue. It's not, don't think about it as teaching your puppy their name as it more it is about an attention exercise. So what she's doing is tossing a treat to get the puppy distracted. That's why you see her go out of focus or out of film camera. And then she says the puppy's name, and then as the puppy comes back, she rewards it. So we do what we call say it, show it, pay it, okay? So again, let's see what happens here. She tosses a treat on the ground away from her. <laughs> the puppy can never find the treat. So she okay. goes and shows him, then she says the name, okay. and then the reward happens when the puppy comes back to her. Right there, right there. Try to get about five repetitions in okay. a couple times yeah. a day. Try not to repeat your puppy's name. You get to say your puppy's name one time, they look at you, and then they get rewarded. Now what we're doing is we're prepping for another foundation exercise that we call the touch game. And all we're asking for is the puppy to touch their nose to the palm of our hand, just like that, and then Treats come as soon as the puppy completes the exercise. Start in a really a not distracting environment. That's why she's sitting on the ground, um, dog's nose level. We really want high levels of success. Why do yes. we do this? Um, um, it is a fantastic exercise to get your puppy to, yes. uh, again, focus. We're teaching the puppy to focus. So we can do this um, when we're out on walks yes. to get them to oh, stop boy. looking at something else. We can uh, redirect them in the house. If they're doing something they shouldn't be doing, yes. we can do a hand target. It's just a really oh, excellent boy. way to gain your puppy's attention. Yes, 
So you can see Melissa offer her hand out to the side and if the puppy isn't sure what to do, a lot of times she'll put the reward behind her yes. hand um, or she will uh, try to start over and ask the puppy to, oh, here's a good example. Um, there you go. He he wasn't really sure what to do, so she put her hand yes. away, and then the next time she offered her, she put the treat right behind it. And you can see he generally wants to just look for the hand that has the treat, and she yeah. So you have to be really patient. Put your hand out. You're gonna say touch, or just wait for the puppy to offer the behavior. If they don't, yes. Put the hand Very away, small. try again, oh and then uh, always offer the reward the second the puppy makes the right choice. Okay. Yes, good job. Good boy. Yes, good job. Good boy, yes. And the last part of what we are working on here is sort of a, a yes, gotcha game good. where we are getting good the puppy yeah. comfortable right. uh, with yeah. us reaching out, grabbing onto his harness, um, kind of roughing him around a little bit and uh, we are pairing lots of positive reinforcement. So you can see what'll happen is uh, Melissa is offering some treats, then reaching out with her other hand, grabbing onto that harness, putting a little bit of pressure on it, moving it around, getting him really comfortable so that that doesn't become a source of yeah, stress right. for him. So you can do that anytime it, it, that you are working on name game. A lot of times I'll do combinations where I'll, so you can see that time how he backed away. He saw her hand coming and he backed away from her. So she's trying to be really oh, slow oh, and methodical yes. about this. Um, so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll introduce name game. I'll do that a bunch of times. Then I'll combine that with a, a collar grab or a gotcha game. So it'll be, puppy's name he gives me eye contact I say yes and then I reach out with one hand and put it on his collar and offer my other hand with a treat in it so I can I can kind of start making combinations of things yes. like that yes good job Yes, very good. Good boy. Good job. Yes, very good.